Hello everyone, Albar here, and welcome to this Let's Play. Well, you might be wondering, what am I doing in this Let's Play? Well, since I've completed uh, the series, and now all I have to do is, well, get my gear set ready, and my gear set as well. Got a lot of work to do. So, until then, this might take a few weeks, if not half a year or something, so... For now, I'm done with that series, and I'm gonna be here. The truth is, I was already here on episodes 2, 3, and 4 of this series, and uh, that was back when I was in my previous life. I've done since then one, and my only TR ever. This is only a second life, by the way. See? 34 points. Yeah, fine. So, uh, well, what I'm gonna do now is, uh, Axel has a stream planned for uh, New Year's, where they're gonna be doing all the raids. Probably in like three different sittings, but like consecutive. So I'm just going to make sure that I am flagged for everything. And I'm going to start by running through every raid. I basically printed out uh, the wiki page. I'll link it on the screen basically so you can see it. But basically I've got it printed out in front of me with a pen and I'm going to go through each one and check if I can get into the raid. So I just did this one the other day. So right now this is, you know, so I can't step into it. But Legendary Shroud... I always find that the best is to actually step into the raid itself. This is a way for sure that you know that, no, I've done the flagging, I'm completed it, and yeah, I'm good to go. So I've got Shroud and Legendary Shroud. So here we go, let me find it. Shroud I've got, and the Codex of the Shroud. Okay, next, where do we go to now? Actually, it's probably faster this way. I know I'm not flagged for everything, so I'm gonna be checking. So Isle of Dread, we've got skeletons in the closet. This guy? Yeah, I'm basically going to confirm that I can get into every raid. Or if not, I'll know at least that I need to go prepare it. It's important to do this and if you're preparing because something that will happen a lot is you say, well, this raid doesn't need flagging or something. And at the end, what happens is you end up at that raid and you find out you just made that you did it, but you didn't turn it in. And now you're on timer. So it's always good to go and actually check that you can get into raid if you're preparing for raids. Like, physically get in there. So, skeletons in the closet. Uh, let's go to more grave. That's the new one. Some of them have, like, no flagging that's obvious, but they have, like, odd kind of flagging that you might forget about, so... So while I'm at it, I do actually have the new goggles. Where are they? You've arrived at Wargrave the night before the ceremony. Summoned by Dean Stormleaf's urgent message. You doubt this is about the seating arrangements. Where's the... There's supposed to be a crafting table here someplace. There's a crafting table. Oh. Yeah, find it. Okay. Uh, these are the extra dusts. So I have some of them. Okay, fine. Whatever. The goggles. I need to make a video about this. Whatever. Fine. This is Fire of a Morgrave. Done. I mean, flagged. So where to next? I guess I could just go 
I keep on doing this. I teleport to the ship. Uh, and there I... Well, I, I go to uh, Isle of Dread. And from there I can just, well, go to the ship teleporter and go to wherever I want, so... Build their ship. Okay, let's see what we got. Harbor. Hmm. Marketplace. Marketplace, we've got a few. We've got the four over here. Hey, okay. legendary vision of destruction. Then, okay, so we've got this one. Legendary Vision of Destruction marked. I need to check out Legendary Hound, then Heroic Vision of Destruction and Vision and Hound. So let's see. What is this one? This is Hound of Zoria. This is the regular one. I guess I can run to the regular Hound of Zoria, but it's good enough if I can pick up the quest. Legendary Hound of Zoria. I guess I'm just being lazy, but whatever. Okay. Legendary Hound of Zoria. And Hound of Zoria. So. Legendary Hound of Zoria. And Hound of Zoria. Sometimes you come to the quest giver. And if you can't pick it up, you don't know that you can actually go into the quest. So. That's why I like doing that. Who's the last one? I just did this one, Hound of Zoriat. Oh, this one. This is Vision of, Dest Vision of Destruction. A Vision of Destruction. In. Okay. Find it, A Vision of Destruction. Done. We got a few more in the marketplace. We've got Chronoscope. I never did Chronoscope yet with this character. Based on the fact that I pick up that raid, I should have no problem getting into it, but you know. Chronoscope. Also, there's legendary Chronoscope coming, so... You have arrived at the Chronoscope excavation site. Nelgan is here somewhere, but can this place truly help her find her brother? Or is she being deceived? Yeah, the Chronoscope is only one raid. I mean, heroic and... The heroic and epic versions both give the same... Favor, so it is the same rate. Okay, now we've got the two. So the two raids are these two. Killing time. Before you lies the chronoscope, an ancient relic that can be used to travel back in time. Watch your step! Sarion calls from up ahead. Sarion addresses the group. This place has changed quite a bit since my last visit. Gotta make sure you got that uh, screen These capture. Islands around us are a new development. They seem to be held up by a Should network of skyhooks. That jet oh. of air over there is an example. Perhaps with a Featherfall enchantment, you can so, use the jets time. to explore. By the way, Once is it killing the time? Speaking like, of which, there's something the called time and we want to kill it, so we're killing time. Warded. Or is it time Whoever to kill something? It a I, 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 it's, now it's killing time. For now, stay close to me. The answer is I don't care. Okay. Riding the storm out, or whatever this is called. The very air here seems to sizzle with arcane power. You spot a figure clad in okay, robes recall. of the twelve, crouched over by the remains of this a giant one is. Skeleton. The wizard calls the storm out, out as you approach. About time you lot showed up. 
Who's your leader? Don't be shy. My friend here doesn't fight. At least not anymore. Okay, so these were done. And now we need to head over to Giant Hold. Okay, Reaver's Fate. Let's see. The Reaver's Fate. There we go. Now I need to see if we can get into uh, whatever it's called. Fall of the Truth. The fall of truth. Some things like this, you think, you know, I did the quest, so I should be able to get in here. Enter the fall of truth. And then you find out that it requires separate flagging. And the flagging you did was only for the heroic and not for the epic. Whatever. Okay. So, did both of these. I guess we can head back to... Uh, Let's see what's next on the list. Check the houses first, and then I'm going to go to the other locations. So let's see. We did Marketplace. House Denise. Does this have a raid? No. What about House Teresco? Jurasco has two raids. Two? It's got the Tempest Spine raids. Come on. if I can make it. Yes, I did. Nice. So, Legendary Tempest Spine. Legendary Tempest Spine. In. Unfortunately, you've got a recall out of this. There's no, like... You can't just click on the waypoint and get out. Oh well. And right next to it, we have... This is... The Heroic Tempest Spine. I like how exiting the Legendary Tempest Spine puts you at the same exit as the Heroic Tempest Spine. They forgot about that. Let's see? Tempest Spine. First one on the list. Okay, recall. Should end up exactly in the same spot. The recall point is the same. Basically, recall and be facing the quest giver of Heroic Tempest Spine. Yep. Actually, I think the legendary was here, so. That's pretty close, though. Okay, House Jeresco, I think we're done. Eventually, I'm going to see the end of the list and whatever. Let's start with Blood on the Vine. Curse of Strahd. Okay. Curse of Strahd. Let's find out the list. Curse of Strahd. And next one, we got to move to, let's go to Blue Water. Old Baba's, Old Baba's Hut. 
Bubble. Bubble Saga's hut sits in the middle of the swamp, Bubble. no longer surrounded by the bramble walls that once protected it. All seems to be quiet. Too quiet in your experience. Where's old Bubba's hut? Old Bubba's hut? Check. Uh, let's see if I can go to Evening Star from here. No, but if I go to Blood on the Vine, can I get to there? Can I get the Evening Star through there? Nope. So I'll just use my key. They really, sh really should shorten the cooldown on the key. I mean, come on. Uh, let's see. On the web. Turn around over here, go to uh, Indian Store Cavern. Can also go to the Wayland Docks, so something I just realized now. And caught the web. In. It's kind of fun that I can say that I've soloed most of these raids. Well, not this character, but yeah. I've soloed most of the DDO raids all on a single character. That was caught in the web. Now we've got the two Thunder Peak, whatever they're called. Second, I gotta. Mark caught the web. Caught the web. If I ever succeed at soloing old raids, I'll be sure to make a tier list of difficulty, or maybe I'll just make a tier list of which raids I like most. Well, the thing is, the, the problem with making a tier list about which raid you like the most is that it's kind of it's very subjective so I guess it's like what did I personally like or enjoy the most so I like the mechanics of raids I like being able to do and participate and do the mechanics so once I've done it I don't mind doing it with other people but I want to be able to do it myself and that means that raids that I'm very dependent on other people is less fun so let's see Temple of Death one. Let's see if I can go straight there. Uh, Agra, Agra La Rasa, whatever her name is. Let's see if I can get straight in there. Ahead looms the temple where Agra La Rasa, the conqueror of Thunderhome, meets Agra La Rasa. Yeah, soloing this was a nightmare. The video is like two hours and fifteen minutes. I have another 2 hours and 15 minutes, and another hour of recordings that I didn't post. Temple of Death Womb. Let's see if I can get the Fire and Thunder Peak. Should be flagged, because you see I've got both of these. I've killed both the Death Knight and uh, Cult Emissary, or whatever it's called. But, you know. I'd rather check than show up to the raid and then like, oh, sorry, I need a flag. Let me just run quickly. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Um, mountain summit. Let's go. Okay. And so this is fire on fire on Thunder Peak. Where is it? Fire on Thunder Peak. I think we did all the evening star in this area. Fine, let's go. Go back through teleport to Isle of Dread. Let's get back on the ship.
I mean, this is kind of like a guide to every raid, how to get into the raid itself. I skipped one. Maybe I'll come and do back. I'll come back and do that at the end. But so far, I've stepped into every raid except for well, heroic shroud, and that's because I'm on timer. Uh, okay, house Dresco I did. House Kundra. This has one raid and it's up here. I am not flagged for House K. That means I did not do the quests. I didn't complete them, or what? I guess I did not complete the quest. Fine. So how's K? So, Vault of Night. This one is waiting. Vault of Night and what's the other one called? There's two. There's two parts of this. Vault of Night. I know you're yelling at the screen, but it doesn't help me. And the Plane of Night. I need a flag for Volt of Night and Plane of Night. Fine, let's move on to the next place. Oh, let's go through a ship. Which one's next? House K? Uh, yeah, House Fair Island, I guess. Over here we've got uh, the Necro Quests. Two raids over here. Probably could just teleport directly to Necropolis, but whatever, fine. We'll go the long way. Instead of running across, I'm just going to talk to this guy send me right there. Talk to him twice, he'll do it immediately. Don't have to wait for the animation. Looks like he did heroic. Heroic seems to be open. But I have to see if I can actually get into the raid. You know, the sigil farming and all the rest. Okay. Heroic habit. Yep, I am flagged. So this is Ascension Chamber. Ascension Chamber. Flagged. I need to see if I'm flagged for Epic. It didn't show up when I clicked on it, so I for sure didn't pick it up. Nope. I need to do the four flagging quests over here. Oh, sorry. The five flagging quests over here. Why is there five quests? Whatever I need. Oh, this is not a quest. This is a quest chain. Fine. I need to do the quests over here. Then I'll be able to talk to him. And then I'll be able to do a Mark of Death. So, Mark of Death is not done. Where is it? Death, not that. Okay, uh, next, let's go back to the ship. We're almost done. We got a few more to check. Okay, uh, Sharn. Apparently, we've got two raids to check out. Yeah, I can see. I can tell already that I'm not uh, flagged for 
to want the handle. Well, I guess I have to open up some quests to finish the flagging to this place. Or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll check. I don't know what it is who flags for uh, Project Nemesis. Could be has something to do with finding the quest, I don't know. Yes, I know I'm not going to the right place. I just want to start this quest, see if it makes any difference. Okay, I picked up that quest. And now I'm heading this way. I head towards the forge and then We'll see what happens after that. Yeah, getting to this forge is not hard at all. It's just I don't seem to know how to flag for this place. Yeah, so there's two... Uh, Two, two raids over here. Project Nemesis, this one I'm flagged for. Tick this, tick this one off the list. Following Dane's instructions, you've managed to navigate your way through the lower cogs and arrive at your destination. The Project Nemesis. Facility and all Just of let me go out. Await you in the darkness ahead. Project Nemesis, and here we've got Too Hot to Handle. He's just gonna let me trade stuff. Yeah, too Hot to Handle, not flagged. Let's see? Too Hot to Handle, not flagged. I'm gonna leave the forge from this side, and see if there's any like other quests that I can pick up that will maybe influence the flagging? This I don't know. Why well, can't teleport directly to here? I don't know. Let's go to this quest and see what happens. Sometimes you need to complete a quest out in the cogs. Sometimes just I don't know, getting to a location. I don't know what the case is in this. Well, in this case. My quest should be right over here. Fine. Let's go back and we'll see if I am now flagged to use the NPC. If not, I might have to do like a quest or something. Maybe you have to complete one of the COGS quests before you get uh, flagged for it. I don't know. It's a theory. Worst comes to worst, I can just walk, but I'd rather be flagged. But we'll see. Push that off to later. Uh, so, let's see. Three barrel curl, nothing. Restless Isles. What is this, Titan? Titan. Twilight Forge quests. Talk to this guy. Do I have greater teleport scrolls? I don't think so. Let 
Doesn't seem so. I guess I can just run there. This is one you really have to check because if you're not flagged for it, you won't be able to get into the quest. The way it goes is, if you stick uh, straight to the right, uh, you'll get to a location. But the first two branches also will take you to the other uh, to other options. So one left. Uh, sorry, if you just go all right, you should end up at the one of the flagging quests. If you do two lefts at the beginning and then go all right, you should end at the end of uh, other flagging quests. If you do one left and then go right, you should end up the uh, raid. So, I did already one left, and I should be able to just do right now and end up at the, the raid. Like over here, instead of going this way, I'm gonna stick to the right. If I am not mistaken, should end up soon at the. Yeah, barriers. There's collectibles that you can pick up that will allow you to get past this place. But I'm just gonna kill everything. Kill these annoying things first, because they disappear. Yeah, there's collectibles you get from the quest. You can give to the NPCs on the side over there, and that'll let you pass without fighting, but it's irrelevant now. Kill you and you. You gotta kill all the trash, though, if you want to get past the door, so... we go. Yeah, this is one raid that you should definitely check that you can actually get into because, I don't know, if you don't have the sigil in your hand, you won't be able to get in. Talk to this guy. And you show the sigil of the Dalakur to the Warforged. There you go. So, flagged. So that is Twilight Forge and Titan Awake. See, the Titan Awakes. And Twilight Forge. The Twilight Forge. Done. Okay, next. We got like the Shavarath, House Kath stuff. A few more things we need to do. Uh, let's see. Sands of Manectrum. I didn't check this one out. I do not know if I'm flagged. This is why we're checking. Oh, I meant to do Zawabi's Revenge. Yep. This must be the hellish lair yeah. where the wizard king so, summons the lobby's revenge. The air is sulfurous and corrupt. Let's find it. So lobby's revenge. Got it. Um yeah. Again. Back to the ship. Well, back to Isle of Dread and then to the ship. Pretty sure this is the closest teleport to an airship. I might be wrong, but whatever. Hey. Okay. Ruins of Giant Hold, we checked that one. Orchard, we checked these two. Veil of Toilet, just we started with these two. Saber of Tool the Reaver's Reach has no raids. Amarath.
Okay, so let's see. There's two raids over here. The long way for some reason, whatever. I can see I'm not flagged, so I need to finish my flagging. Or this is Defiler of the Just. Defiler of the Just, not flagged. Let's go see if I'm flagged for the other raid. I like stepping in because there's two things of flagging. Sometimes it's just like picking up the quest itself. Can you actually take it? And second is the location open. So here, quest is not open. And I can also get to the location, but I'll do that when I'm finished with the, after I do the quest. No point in doing it now. Or well, there is, I don't know. Fine, I'll do it now. I need to get past the main gate, and once I get past the main gate, I need to get into uh, the citadel or whatever it is. Basically, take a left after the start, get to the high ground over here, and we're going to get past this gate, who's locked. I don't know what the official way to get past the gate is, but we're going to cheese it by going here. And then we can pull the gate. You successfully breached the town. Now we run down this out of fortification and open pathway over here. Gate. Stick to the left. how the lock flies off the chest when you open it. Okay. You've made your way to the very base Here's of the, the tower secret of entrance. Despair. Let's talk to the guy over here. Quarters on Shavaroth and home to their high council. Talk to him, ask him. I may need to return here. You click on this once. Indeed. Once you did that, I think I took a wrong turn. Okay. So I'm half flagged for this. But basically, if I want to come back to the raid and no longer have to run through the wilderness, I can just imagine a secret entrance. Just go straight there. So Tower of Despair, not flagged. See, Tower of Despair, not flagged. Uh, I think I'm almost done. House Kenneth raids, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, we've got two Feywild and four Canis, and I think that's it. So let's quickly do that. Stormreach Harbor. Let's see. Court of the Wild Hunt. Neither of these need flagging, but just make sure I'm not on timer or something silly like that. Hey. Uh, hunt or be hunted. Hunt or be hunted. Flagged. Can you step out of this place? Yes, you can. Thank you. Anytime you can just step out of a quest, I'm very happy. Hunt or be hunted. I don't know why it steps you, drops you here, not next to the quest, but whatever. I'll still take it. Wild hunt. Windwood Hall. Make sure I can get to this place, but I can, so it's confirming that I'm flagged for it. This is Dryad and Demigod. The Dryad and the Demigod flag. You have arrived at the Valley of the Door to Far Away. Ahead, Hawthorne and Hearsum argue from the relative safety of their respective circles of power. Actually, I'll just teleport right to the 
Why recall and do that? I'm gonna do this anyway. Okay, guild airship. Now we need to get off at House Cannon, who doesn't have a teleporter. There might be a teleporter on the ship, but I don't know which floor it is. Oh, we'll just go to the marketplace. Up in here. Here we go to House Caneth. I guess we go to the Hall of Heroes. Do the same thing. Okay. This is Legendary Lord of Blades. Legendary Lord of Blades is done. There's a neat trick. Well, first of all, the NPCs are different. There's two NPCs for each. It means each one gives its own favor. And the fun thing about it is they made it a way you can tell which one's legendary and which one's not. It's the same NPC with the same name, but there's one crucial difference. The legendary version always has longer hair. So legendary has longer hair than this one. who has got shorter hair. Same name, by the way. This is just Lord of Blades. Hey, the Lord of Blades. Where is it? Lord of Blades. Done. And yet again, there's no way to get out. You have to actually recall. So sad. Too bad I'm not a monk and I can't do the quick recall. Hey, that was the Master Adifrisser. Master Adifrisser, this is regular. Can you step out? No. Yeah, I think we're one more and we're done. Well, I'm glad to see that I'm flagged for the vast majority of the raids. A few annoying ones, but some of the very, very annoying ones, like Heroic Shroud. I'm very glad I get that, that one, that one done. This is Legendary Master Artificer. Hey, let me just confirm my list. Let's go through it. The ones I didn't do is Plane of Night, Tower of Despair, the Fire of the Just, Two Hand to Handle, and Mark of Death. And the Vault of Night, but yeah. And that's it. So I've got some work to do, but that's it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!